to my channel. For those of you who are here for the very first time, my name is Jennifer Mentor and I'm a real estate agent here in Atlanta, Georgia. First of all, I just wanna say, hey guys, I'm back. It's been a long time. I have not filmed a video since, I don't even know, I think it was the summer, I'm not sure. It's been about like five or six months now, but I'm back and I'm back for good. Um, I say that all the time, but for real, you guys, I've just been taking a step back, kind of like, reevaluating the kind of content I want to put out there. I've been working so hard to make my videos perfect and I just realized I just got to get up and do it. I just want to show you guys my every day and I'm ready to get back to the group of things. First things first, I do want to say that I will be taking part in a Vlogmas for the very first time ever. For those of you who don't know what Vlogmas is, it's kind of like a thing that YouTubers do in the holiday season or Christmas season where you have to vlog every single day leading up till Christmas day. So I'm gonna try my best. You know, I feel like it's a challenge for me, so I'm really gonna see if I could do it and I feel like I can, but I'm gonna try my best to vlog every single day, have content for you guys every single day, whether I'm out just showing a house or I'm actually like doing a deal or giving you guys some real estate tips or, you know, just giving you guys a day in the life and things like that. So um, yeah, I'm excited and I hope you guys tune in. Please, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, subscribe so that you can get all the real estate content all my day in the life videos i have a lot of things up my sleeve so yeah stay tuned i did want to say real quick before we get to the video it is not easy being an entrepreneur it is not easy being your own boss i don't know who said to quit your nine to five but i wouldn't change a thing i do want to say to people though if you really, really want to become a realtor, if this is really your passion, then don't give up. There's going to be some struggles. There's going to be days when you're like, what am I doing? Or I'm not making any money or like you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I just want to say that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you guys really have to be dedicated and, you know, being your own boss, you have to treat the business like you have to treat it like you're that like you would treat your nine to five. You need to wake up early. You need to be self-motivated. You need to be your own coach. You need to push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. People can give you the tools, but unless you get up and you're like, I deserve this. I deserve to make this amount of money this year. I deserve to be able to take care of my family. I want to be able to make my own rules, be my own boss. Then this is the place for you, but you really do have to put in the work. You have to put in the effort or you're not going to get any results. So I just thought I'd say that because it is a daily battle and only the strongest survive. And I believe in you guys. And if you're watching this video, you got this, you can do it. Just continue to educate yourself. Continue to watch videos like this um, and just continue to put yourself out there. So yeah, I'm ready to get straight into this video. I hope you guys enjoy the next five or six tips that I'm gonna give you guys. I know that after I pass my real estate exam, obviously the next step is to find a brokerage. So I just wanted to give you guys a few questions when you're out out there and you're looking for brokerages what to look for and what to ask your broker or whoever that you're speaking to that is in charge of all of that first things first i would do my research before anything also i did want to throw out there if you do sign to a brokerage for the most part this wasn't actually a question but for the most part you're not really tied down to them so don't ever feel scared oh my god I'm gonna sign with a brokerage and then think you can't get out of it if you sign with a brokerage and you see that it doesn't really work out for you you can always change your brokerage okay so I don't know some people always feel like they're stuck at a brokerage and you're not just make sure you ask those questions too like how long is your contract or if you want to leave can you leave at any time you know things like that so I just wanted to Say that little point right there let's just get straight to the video okay so first question that you want to ask your broker um i would think anybody would ask that is number one what are the commission splits because i think that's very important a lot of the times when you're like a new brokerage the the usual i would say is like 60 40 sometimes people do 70 30 but usually you're looking for like a 60 40 range when you're starting but it's also what works best for you if that's not something that you want then that's not the right brokerage for you so i would ask what are the commission split is it 50 50 is it 100 zero then what what are the incentives that come with that as well what are the commission splits very important to ask jot it down write it down i hope that's the first question that you ask 
And number two is, are there any franchise fees or like monthly fees? So what are you paying monthly? Um, if anybody wants to know, I'm just going to say it out there. I work at Keller Williams office. We have to pay 90, I think I pay 95 or $93 a month just because I'm with them. So every month you have to pay your monthly fees. Some some um, brokerages, you don't have that. So you wanna know because some people, they sign into a brokerage and then they don't know all the other expenses that they need to, to pay for. So that's really important. What are the monthly fees? Are there any monthly fees? And yeah, next question. What other expenses will you be responsible for? So besides the monthly fees, do you have to pay for lock boxes? Do you have to pay for a super key? If you live in Georgia, you know that we have like a super key to get into the houses. That's also a fee. For me, every time I have to get, uh, I mean, not every time, every time. I have to pay to get access to um, the lock boxes. So it's $15 a month, so that's not so bad, but you wanna know, you know, do you have to pay for lock boxes? Do they provide business cards for you? Do you have to pay for your own business cards? Do you have to pay for your website? Keller Williams, I did not have to pay for a website. They provide us with a website. I can make my own website on my own if I want to, but they have a website provided for you if you need it. Also, they also provided my first uh, business cards. So they give us what, like a hundred business cards? Oh wait, did they provide me with business cards or did I, did I have to pay my own? I don't know. I actually don't remember if I had to pay for my own business cards or if they provided the business cards for me. Don't know, but you would wanna ask that. Do they provide the business cards for you? Like the first hundred is on them or, a lot of people get nervous when it comes to going on an interview, but don't forget, you're pretty much asking them what, what kind of value do they have for you? Like what can they provide for you to want to be a part of their business and what can they provide for you so that you want to work for them and their company and give their company business. So we are still beneficial to them. So we're bringing something to the table. They need us. They want us to make money, you know, so that we could both be happy. So. Um, fourth thing, you want to ask if they have a mentoring program. I actually thought all brokerages had a mentoring program, but come to find out, no, not everybody has a mentoring program. Um, so you just want to ask that as a new agent, like how comfortable do you feel being on your own? Like, do you want to join a team? Do you want to join like a coaching program like I'm doing? Do you guys provide a mentorship so that, you know, you have someone to go to if you have questions and things like that? Because it can feel like a lot of information is being piled on you. So you always want somebody personally you always want somebody that you could turn to you can always do your research you can do youtube you can do all that but it's it's it feels good to be able to have someone that you can actually ask questions to see in person and things like that so that's another question that i asked and i would hope that you guys would probably want to know as last well. question this was personal for me but i wanted to know is there a place where agents can come to work so a lot of some agents have act, i mean some brokerages have actual booths for agents to work some agents just have like you know free space some offices don't even have a space for agents to conduct business and for me that was so super important because even though you're you know your own boss and you can work from home i like the option to be able to go to the office because not everybody's home is their sanctuary for me my house is where we play music and my kid is running around and there's just so much chaos going around or i'm comfortable or i want to be in my bed or like the tv and all these distractions Oops. the tv and all these distractions are there so i feel good knowing that if i do want to go i do want some peace and quiet or if i want to get work done if i want to feel like i'm in a productive environment or you know where i see other people working everybody's taking care of business for me that's motivation so being able to be at a brokerage where we do have places where agents can work and it's a quiet clean space and there's not much clutter i don't have to think about oh my god i need to do dishes or oh i gotta cook dinner and stuff like that once i'm away and i'm at the office i feel great so um that was important to me so i just want to know if there's a I would want to know, is there a place where, you know, agents can get away or do work? Can I rent an office space? And how much is are those fees a month? Uh, do you even have to pay for a desk rent or anything like that? So that's important to me. And yeah, I hope those were helpful. I feel like those are like the basic five that would get me to the door. So I did want to throw a little bonus question that I thought about really quick. Um, 
when you go to your interview take a tour of the brokerage i would want to sit into at least a training session so i would want to know you know is there someone i could sit with is there like maybe a mentor program that i could sit on for just one class just to see how it is get a feel for it get a feel for the teacher the mentor um the broker maybe like a meeting that you can join just one time before you make your final decision um i think that's really important and yeah i feel like those were the i feel like the five most basic questions so i hope that this video was helpful i'm so happy to be filming for you guys again and i will see you guys tomorrow for the next video i hope that this was really informative i hope that helped someone one two three people i hope that you guys have a blessed day and just keep watching watch my next video stay tuned for more real estate tips and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much bye